Welcome everyone to another exciting episode of Let's Play. I am the disembodied voice of Bobby F. J. Tom tonight, or today, or whenever you're listening to this. Uh, joining us once again is Sorg. Hey, I have video. Uh, Chachi. Hey, I have video too. And Riz. Can I just go back to Bobby's disembodied picture here? <laughs> <laughs> and And everything around it. Everything around it, you can play like find the. Yes, I don't know. The, 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 the one I like most about this is the guy behind uh, Bobby who's just peeking over his shoulder. That's my parrot, <laughs> Frederick. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, check out the video version to see what we're talking about, guys. Yeah. I, uh, so uh, before we get into it, um, I, I decided to be lazy. Uh, uh -huh. The Why? epitome of laziness on Sunday, and tried to order Pizza Hut from my Xbox. Did so did I. My, did you pay with Microsoft points? No. Um, no. And I would just like to say uh, that it is a terrible app. <laughs> terrible. No, you're. I, I'm not kidding. So yeah. first off, it told me that my Pizza Hut was closed, oh. um, <laughs> and the website did not. Okay. okay. So there's that. And then when I decided to pick it up, uh, and went ahead and used the app anyhow, it charged, It tried charging me $8 for a uh, two liter of Mountain Dew. Holy crap. <laughs> wow. Um, so I, I re quickly removed it just in case. Um, and just bought it at a store, but uh, my my experiencing my experience using the app is not so good. Are you sure it wasn't eight hundred Microsoft points? That could be. It, it was eight dollars. Hmm. That's, uh, still, that's ten dollars. <laughs> I use I did I used it myself. Uh, I think Friday night we ordered in, and uh, we got one of those like two pizza, you know dinner tray things, you know. And it, I'm not entirely sure if the fifteen percent applied was one problem. Uh, but otherwise, it worked out just fine. It, it, I just had to go to my account and add a card because I hadn't used it for a while and everything expired. Uh, but other than that, like, you know, I thought it worked pretty all right, you know? You guys didn't uh, have to mime uh, or making a pizza on Connect. Well, I don't have Connect, so. Chachi, oh, okay. did you do I any? Use it. No. no pizza miming? <laughs> no. No pizza miming. It, there, there was a mini game where you had to throw dough in the air. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, besides ordering pizza, we did play video games this week. Um, so, Chachi, what would you play this week? Uh, Call of Duty. Um, I unlocked the diamond camo, bitches, All if right. you didn't get my Xbox message. Yeah. He, I got you it. said that to everybody? He said uh -huh. it like five times. I feel less <laughs> special. I sent it to everyone. Um, I also played uh, Price play Claw, Claw, which is a uh, crane machine game on my phone. Uh, I love that Test game. for friends. Wow. I love that game. I, I just like claw machines. <laughs> so, yeah. Don't get stuck in them like little kids tend to do. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's about it. Um, but I did download uh, NBA Jam on Fire Edition. He's so, on fire. So, I'll that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, 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 Brother Sorg in the chat room saying that it, it showed him uh, $5 for a 20 ounce, though it added the uh, normal price of the final charge. Oh, wow. So there was probably some opening glitches to begin with for the Pizza it's, Hut app. It's a horrible app. First, first day patches. <laughs> first day patches. <laughs> yeah. Pizza patches. All right. Uh, Riz, what did you play this week? I played Blops, of course. Uh, that was probably my only console game that I've played. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been playing more something called Backflip Madness. What? Oh, Bert. yeah. Yeah, it's... It's simple and it's addicting. And it's is that the stick figure game? No. Well, oh, no, it's more of a um, uh, ragdoll type game. I think he told me about that once. Yeah, we, we told we. I talked about it here on yeah. the show before. All you do is like hit the button three times to make him like stick a landing or <laughs> get like very very dis disfigured. It kind of looks like um, Happy Wheels, doesn't it? Yes. Okay. It's exactly what it is. And also, I've been playing Words with Friends, 
Avengers. Uh, <laughs> Sporkle, which is a very, very fun trivia game, if you're interested in that. Uh, actually, uh, friend of the other show that we do, uh, Mad, Mad Mike, he actually got us hooked on to Sporkle. So, what is Sporkle? Them. It's it gives you like a, ve- a variety of of uh, different lists that you have to name off. Like the ones I just got were baby names that start with J. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. What the hell? And let's see. Most peaceful nations. Rhyming surname trios. AFI quotes fill in the blank. And the, the last one I played was baby, baby names, see girl names of the generations. And the, I have never finished the whole one yet. The name implies that it's sports underwater. Sportful. Yeah. That's what so I thought it's, it was. It's not. Like the first one we, we did was um, every WrestleMania match ever. And, and you had the list by participant who is who it is so it, it's very addicting and very hard yeah. Yeah. and uh the last one i've played i think it's more of a kid game but i've seen more adults play it than kids it's called mini golf mash matchup <laughs> it's mini golf with friends so pretty what i said sweet yeah it's pretty good i mean uh, i'm I'm dominating and everything, but, you know. Because you're playing against I, kids. Well, oh, no. no <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That they, need, they need to recognize that I'm not going to let them beat me. They don't know me. <laughs> All right. Ain't, um, no, ain't, ain't nobody got time for that. Oh, and also uh, test for friends. Test. Yeah, yeah. We've been playing a, quite a bit of that lately. It is not to fix one word. It is a very bad game. Yeah. It's, um, it's, you need like, to I'm, I'm, I'm almost done playing though. it, honestly. Yeah. I, and no, Riz I'm, and I got up to like 60, 63% and I just don't care anymore. I think like, we're like in the 20s. We're 63% friends. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't yeah. need a machine to tell me who my friends are. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. Like, I, I know who my friends, friends are. I don't know you. <laughs> All right. Um, I've been playing this week uh, Telltale Poker Two, Poker Night Two, on Xbox. Um, it, if, if you if you rem- didn't play the first one, um, it had a uh, various video game characters from all over the place. Uh, this this version has um, Claptrap from Borderlands. It has Brock Samson from the Venture Brothers, uh, Ash from Evil Dead, and Army of Darkness, and. Um, Almost like you were Sam and Max them. and Glados from Portal. So, it's it's a fun game. It's 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 basically just a poker game, but it's pretty funny. Um, I I also played uh, Call of Duty Black Ops Two, and I unlocked the Neil Diamond uh, camo. Um, hold your applause! Hold your applause! Um, yeah, I play. I, I did buy oh, the new Max, Diamond, by right? the way. Um, I, I was playing Avengers Alliance, of course, uh, Simpsons Tapped Out, and Jurassic Park Builder. Park Builder. Mm-hmm. So, all those games are fun. Um, Sorg, what did you play this week? Um, I I played a, a probably a good hour or so of uh, of some uh, Black Ops Two. Uh, I was really addicted, actually, of all things. I don't know how much time I put into this thing. Uh, the Injustice Free to Play iOS game. Mm-hmm. You played some of this, Riz? I just downloaded it now. Yeah, yeah. It's um, it's, it's using the Unreal Engine. It looks damn good on my 4S. It looks it, damn good. It Not looks Android, right? just like the console game. Pretty much. Pretty much. Um, it, it is, I mean, the picture isn't really representative there. Well, I guess it is a little bit, actually. Uh, but, yeah, you're playing, like, three-on-three teams, and it's just, you know, until they all get beat, right? right. Um, and... You, you you they give you a few of the guys you know kind of for free to begin with it's one of those where if i want to spend like 20 dollars i could go unlock a bunch of guys and a bunch of uh attributes and everything like that but there's kind of 
a level up system for everybody. So it's like it, it did a it's like a Street Fighter kind of RPG slash card game. Mm-hmm. Um, and it, because the, the cards are the attributes and everything. Mm-hmm. So what does that risk? If you if you connect your WB with the Warner Brothers account that you have, yeah, with your in with your games, and you combine both the games, they know because they know you're playing both games. You actually get an unlockable for the major game, which is the Batman Beyond uh, costume. That's awesome. Ooh. I watched That's awesome. an episode of Batman Beyond this. And week. It, it gives you it's one of those things where it's gonna give you like daily, you know, login bonuses and all that kind mm-hmm. of stuff. Um so I mean it, it's it's pretty cool. Like it, it it's the first time I've seen a fighter that didn't use buttons. It's one yeah, of those it's like, like gestures on the screen kind of situations. So uh, like if you swipe it, it'll make a move better. Yeah, Double yeah. Well, it's basically tapping is punching. Uh, swiping is like the the heavy attack. Yeah, and that's and really like just about it. Two pressing both hands. Yeah, yeah. It's it's two fingers uh, uh, touching the screen for block, and then they have these special moves, and there's gestures that go along with that. Uh, it, it, they'll they'll have where if you punched a few times, they'll put an arrow. If you if you hit the if you swipe in the direction of arrow, it'll be like a you know you know. You, more powerful move or something like that. It's really well done. I mean, it's, it's one of those like it's it's just a beat. It just feels like a beat 'em up. It's probably not. It's definitely not as good as the main game, but for just like a fun, quick play, it's pretty fun. It's a free game that's made from the Unreal Engine. Yeah, <laughs> and, and it doesn't feel it's awesome. It doesn't feel limiting playing it so far without actually putting money in to buy things. Right. Like it does with like your tapped out games or anything like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, it feels like well, I can just keep playing this and put my time in and build up money and and unlock all the stuff I want, you know. Um, so th- that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool, and, and it's it's kind of fun like building up each person and and the, their cards and 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 kind of seeing what they can do. So uh, this will hold me over until Injustice is like twenty bucks. So which I did see it for forty this week. Oh, wow. At, at uh, Toys R Us, there, there was a sale. So that's what I got. Oh, that Jeffrey Giraffe. Or, it's is it Jeffrey? Yeah, it's Jeffrey. Okay. It's Joffrey. 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 The evil king giraffe. Yes, the evil <laughs> king douchebag giraffe. <laughs> um, it, It's only for uh, iOS, correct? Uh, I think so. I think it's on Android, too. Because oh, it? Oh, it might be. I'll have to do some research on it. Uh, the, the news article I just popped up just said iOS, but I, oh, okay. I thought it was Android. I think I heard Android. But well, we don't have mine, so whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Still we Android. only have Tamagotchi, so whatever. <laughs> I killed mine, I said. All right. Uh, and from the chat, um, Brother Sorg played uh, Bioshock. He beat Bioshock 1, and he started on Bioshock 2. He's playing nice. along hard. Wow. Uh, he played some Minecraft and some Pokemon Red and Blue. With his girlfriend. With his, with his lady. And nice. he played Rock Band. And Rock Band. From Chuck. It, it was on Xbox. It popped up. You're like, hey, he's playing Rock Band. Yeah, I know what he's playing. <laughs> I also played Netflix this week, but I didn't oh. watch the movie. I forgot to watch the noobs. Are you still playing Software Update? Oh, yeah. yeah I, I, I gave update. up on that this week. <laughs> didn't even touch my PS3. You raged quit. <laughs> Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, well, it's time to uh, for our segment with Loot Crate this week. Chachi, what do you got for us? <clears throat> this one is actually kind of cool. Um, and, and they've all been cool, but this one more so. It was called Token. Um, so it was all arcade-based, obviously. Um, Which fits the theme of our show. Great. Bam. So you open it up, and uh, everything came packed in this inside the box. And it's one of those uh, simple string bags, mm-hmm. but it's a Mario Kart uh, circuit racing bag. Okay. Um, so it's a Mario Kart bag, so that in itself is pretty sweet. Does it have a blue shell on it? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes, it does. Um, and then uh, Space Invader Candies. Oh, and I haven't opened it to try it or see what they look like yet, um, but it's a it's a, it's a nice tin and it goes well with the uh, Atari joystick one that I got. So 
That's my uh, video game candy stash, by the way. <laughs> um, received a, a game token, uh, and it's from the, uh, oh, what are they called? Uh, 8-Bit Zombie. So one has a uh, arcade uh, logo on it, one side, and the other side has a uh, Nintendo Power Zombie hand. Hmm. Uh, what else did you get? And it's a good thing you reminded me about this because i got to take it to work. Um, each one of the loot crates this month came with uh, a prize ticket, and they're giving away stuff for the next seven days using huh. uh, the cool. numbers on the prize tickets. So I actually got to remember to take that to work. So it's a um, raffle. What's that? It's a raffle. Yeah. Don't throw any baseballs. Um, right, Riz? Yeah. <laughs> right. Uh, and each one came with a mystery uh, Don't pick Street number Fighter. 77. Will you <laughs> shut up? Uh, each one came with a mystery Street Fighter keychain. I got E-Honda and uh, Doslam. Nice. Nice. Hmm. Oh, cool. Stretch? Yeah, it, it, or, it's, uh, or is it fat? Yeah, see, there you can see it better there. Chibi E Honda. <laughs> does E Honda um, mash the A button? Or and then you also got from the same company. You got a uh, little mystery figure from Street Fighter, and I got. <laughs> Oh, he's in oh. Hey, uh, from the chat room, Chachi, uh, Texas Arnicky, uh says he has yet to figure out how to open the Space Invaders arcade candy. Uh, give me a second. I'll do it here. Um, and <laughs> This is uh, instructional. It, as an additional little bonus, you got a uh, gummy burger candy mm. uh, to represent burger time, and you got a uh, root beer hard candy to represent Tapper. Tapper! Nice. Um, but as far as opening the, uh, the Space Invaders tin, first you remove the plastic, see, and then, this, uh, front portal, oh, come on, you piece of crap, there we go, um, the, the front, the screen portion of the arcade, mm -hmm. uh, slides out, it's hard to get, though. Like, you can, you, uh, maybe not. There we go. Yeah, it, it, it comes out. I swear it comes out. And then you can eat candy. Yes, and then you're, <laughs> you're supposed to be able to eat the candy. Supposed to. <laughs> supposed to. It edible. Awesome. Not if you throw it at the wall like Chachi is probably about to do. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, the the, uh, the front piece slides out very hard to get out. And then uh, the Space Invader candy, which has little uh, Space Invaders on it, nice. uh, is in a plastic bag at the bottom. Hmm. Nice. Um, so it's not really worth uh, going through all the problems to open because the candy's probably not that good. <laughs> <laughs> but, it, yeah, it, it's kind of a pain because uh, it, has, it has little tabs on the top of it. They have to uh, slide down and under uh, the the lip of the tin. Mm -hmm. So there you go. That's uh, this month's loot crate. Awesome. Loot crate. Oh, still definitely worth it. I, I am actually going to sign up here uh, after the podcast is over. Probably. Um, I signed up for the newsletter. Got ten percent. So, and you can do the same. Yep. But we're not sponsored by them, but it's just we cool should stuff be sponsored get. by them. Yeah, it's, seriously, it's just <laughs> awesome. Lootcrate.com. L O, uh -huh. not not Luke Crate. Yeah, not Luke, Luke Crate. Again, again, we're, we're, we are <laughs> sorry for Luke Crate. Um, if you've been getting emails from us, we are sorry. It's, it, but remember, Loot. L O O T. C R A T E. Awesome. All right. Um, now it's time for things you should be made aware of. <laughs> Things you should be made aware of. <laughs> All right, our first thing we're going to, we are going to make you aware of. Um, remember the game Watch Dogs from uh, THQ that was the big hit? Or not THQ, Ubisoft that was the big hit of E3. Um, THQ no longer exists. A big hit from THQ. Yeah, from uh, Ubisoft rather. Um, 
Well, we it's fi- it finally has a release date, um, November nineteenth in the U.S. and November twenty second in Europe. Um, it's also going to be a launch title for the PS4 and possibly the Xbox Seven Twenty or whatever they're going to call it. Um, so watch out for that one. Um, also, Deadpool got a release date finally, uh, June twenty fifth in North America and June twenty eighth in um, everywhere else. Um, and it's going to be fifty dollars instead of 60 which I might be a little worried about that. Yeah, that's kind of weird. Yeah, I, I don't know why they dropped the price. How much is it? Is it uh, 49.99. It's 10 bucks cheaper than a regular game. Well, I, you got when when's the release date? June 25th. June? Uh, you think we're getting to that weird area too where yeah. um they're, they're gonna. They're, I'm sure they want to stick the sixty dollar price tag on the new games yeah, for the yeah. new consoles. It's so the they're gonna start kind of price adjusting these older ones. Yeah, you know. So that, that could be it too. The end of the cycle and everything. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, our next thing you should be made aware of. Um, do not get ripped off by Carnival Games. Uh, there was Carnies. a man that that. Is this went, really something that we need to talk about? Yes, this it isn't is. really it's, video it's, games, <laughs> is it? Is oh, it hasn't connected it. Games. Um, a man was trying to win a Connect from a Carnival game. Uh, he spent three hundred dollars trying to win this Connect from a game oh, called man. Tubs of Fun. Um, he ran out of money, went back to his house, got twenty three hundred dollars more, and lost that at, at, on the same game trying to win this Connect. He has a giant you can banana. buy a Connect in the store for cheaper than that. He has a giant banana. Yes, but he did win a giant banana. Giant, the giant, giant, giant banana. banana. Yeah, the giant Rasta, Rasta banana. banana. It's a Rasta banana, but still. But and, and he, he did get six hundred dollars back Aww. from the, the the company, but six. Yeah, yeah, six. It's not even a good looking carnival. Like that's no. a scary carnival. Yeah, that was his own fault. Yeah, that's that's. That was a bad. That was a bad life decision yeah. right there. Yeah, well, congratulations! Not only did you make a terrible life decision, but you are insert coin to begin presents let's plays noob of the week. Noob <laughs> with your Jamaican and he carries a Jamaican banana everywhere he goes. <laughs> yep. The show, a, the show, the scars of his. What? He had, he had it draped over his son's stroller, pushing it around. <laughs> It was like the saddest thing ever. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Wow. And if you want to see the video, you can go over to our friend Mike and Bob's site at uh, 961kiss.com and see the story there. Like, how, how much? Two and a half minutes talking about this. <laughs> how much do we usually spend? Do you guys usually spend playing carny games? Not two thousand six hundred. Not any, because I know they're all freaking fixed. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. This guy's like was sinking them during practice, and then like he started playing for real, and then he's like, "Something's not right here." Wait, I'll go home and get twenty three hundred more dollars so I can win that connect, even though I could go to like Toys R Us to buy one for cheaper. Well, Ooh. let's. I have to clarify something. Apparently, it was a, a kind of a, a, either the guy made an agreement with him where he could, if he played double or nothing, he could win his money back. Oh, yeah, yeah, it was double or nothing. Um, or this guy or also has it was, gambling. You could play for money to begin with, yeah. but that's why he went back for the twenty three hundred dollars. Jeez, but three hundred dollars even for a connect is way too yeah. much. Yes. Yeah. What's so, next, yeah. Bobby? Um, our next uh, t- our next thing that you should be aware of is for the ladies. Ladies or guys who like jewelry. Um, guys on Etsy, on Etsy there's a. Uh, somebody but that goes by the name of Oh My Geekness. Mm-hmm. Um, they're selling um, different uh, video game related jewelry. Like there's a mini Nintendo cartridge ring. Um, I believe somebody else had like uh, chain chomp earrings that like look like they're actually attached to your ear. Mm-hmm. Like the chain chomps are biting their ears and stuff. Uh, so that, I thought that was kind of neat. Uh, uh, if and, you go to Etsy and put in any nerd related oh, search. Yeah. You're going to come up with thousands upon thousands of hits. There's awesome. tons of right, stuff. Because, I mean, you can go over there and type in Triforce and get at least 50 pages of results. That's awesome. Yeah. So, I mean, and Etsy is nerd. And, and it's all handmade stuff, too. And, yeah. Uh, and, they're showing them, them. and they're showing the size of them next to a Canadian penny. <laughs> awesome. 
What's that? Canadian called? penny. That's exotic. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, our next thing that you should be made aware of isn't really video game related, but um, it's our non sequitur for the week. Um, the Pacific Rim trailer from WonderCon came out, and I think anybody who's anybody should watch it. Uh, I think this movie's going to be amazing. Um, a boat or a ship is used as a baseball bat in it. What? <laughs> yes, a ship is used as a baseball bat by a giant robot fighting a okay. monster. Uh, it also has Charlie well, Day as, in it. Uh, he finally made nerds, it the uh, trailer. What's that, Charlie? Love giant, I said, as nerds, we got to love giant robots. That's true. Oh, I know. So, I mean, it's it's in the bylaws. Yeah, and, and the voice of GLaDOS is also in the trailer. Nice. So, yeah, it, it, it looks like it's going to be an amazing now. movie. It's by uh, Guillermo del Toro, uh, who Guillermo. did... Uh, it's a gear help boy and gear. Don't all sorts of movies. So uh, check that out. Uh, it'll be in our notes after the podcast is over. Mm-hmm. All right. And it's time for our comic strip of the week. Yeah. Bobby we reenact, reads you the comic. <laughs> where we reenact the comics for you. Um, Sorg, do you want to be the number two guy? I'll be number two. All and right. I'll be number one. All right. <clears throat> They're standing there. It uh, looks like a video game store. Really? You're buying Dragon's Dogma again just for the bit of extra content? Sure, why not? It's like if I had eaten a cheeseburger, I, I really like, but now they offer it with bacon on top. Hmm. Except that we now have the technology to download the bacon for the original cheeseburger. You shouldn't have to buy a whole new cheeseburger just to get the bacon. Understand what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, yeah, I get it. Give me $500 worth of Microsoft points. I just found out you can download bacon now. <laughs> <laughs> but too and bad you scene. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, too, too bad you can't download bacon with Microsoft points. <laughs> Unless you play Blops. Yeah, or mm-hmm. pizza. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. All right. Um, now we move on to our news stories for the week. Um, there's a new Call of Duty game that will be out this November. And it's called Call of Duty Ghosts. <laughs> I've been waiting all week to do that. <laughs> um, it was given the release date, um, um, speculative release date of a, November 5th, uh, which is probably right because um, usually Call of Duty games come out in November. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's uh, Infinity Ward is doing it, um, rumored to take place in the future again. Um, or. Is it? Yes, yes, Bobby. November is in the future. <laughs> no, the, the, the game 2000. takes place. In the so I guess they're going away from the whole modern warfare uh, boutique for the game. They another franchise. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> their franchise. Yeah. They're kind of walking away from it. Yep. Um, a lot of people are speculating it could be um, a spinoff game for Ghost, but I think he died. Spoiler alert. Mm. What? 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 I don't. I, I think he died in the games. Well, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but what about this news that it might be uh, an Xbox exclusive? Oh, really? There was news that it may be oh, like at least a time delay thing, where it's only going to come out for the 360 and whatever, and the, the other Xbox uh, uh, for a time know. being. So it's, it has a picture of PS3 there. So yeah, but that could that could be nothing. Um, th- those look kind of shoddy. To be honest, usually they if they do a, a timed exclusive, it's usually for DLC anyways. Yeah, so. but maybe it's but, but but Xbox has already been in front as far as those, so yeah. maybe they talked them into a time delay for mm-hmm. could, the game be, proper. Yeah. So who knows? They, they did it with Iron Man three in America. So what? What? <laughs> Iron Man three was released later than the rest of the world got it before we did. So okay, yeah, just just. The, Ocean. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> All right. Uh, speaking of superheroes, um, Kevin Conroy is out as the voice of Batman in the next Batman game. No. Yeah. I don't know. I This really affects my purchase decision on this game. Yeah. Without Kevin Conroy's Batman, it's just... Uh, it kind of shows because, I mean, it's like, well, okay, it's another studio. It's not Rocksteady. It's yeah. kind of a spinoff filler thing. This is kind of like the uh, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood of, uh, of of the Batman games. Exactly. Which, it's the same company, so. 
So, I mean, this, yeah. th- don't expect this to be groundbreaking like the last two Arkham games, guys. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if you dug it and like, well, I need something to tie me over to Arkham City 3 or whatever, uh, this is your game. Otherwise, wait. Play Arkham City they, 2 again. Try to get those mm-hmm. rather, rather guys. They've said this. That they, they keep saying that this is happening, but they also said this when it was found out that uh, – Mark Hamill wasn't going to be Joker anymore. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They said that there weren't going to be any more good games featuring Batman with the Joker in it. And basically, he they were wrong, mm-hmm. I guess, because I've been playing Injustice for a while. I mean, it's not the same company, but uh, is it? No, no way, did it? No, well, it's Warner not. Brothers. But. It's Warner Brothers, but still, it's. Yeah. I'm still playing a game with Joker in it who's not Mark Hamill. Yeah, that is true. And it's. it's it, yeah, you can, yeah. you can attach yourself to a video game voice like we've talked about before. Yeah. And, and I know. I know uh, it's kind Con- of a stamp of approval, though, you know? I, mm. I know he's done the cartoon, uh, the cartoon movies and all that stuff about. For for Batman too, am I right, mm-hmm. or is it just or is it just video games? No, he's well, he's done. No, there's uh, not much coming out. And, and yeah, there's not but, mu- there's not much with him involving him because they've, they've kind of finished with those with the series he was part of. Mm-hmm. Honestly, they, yeah, it's it's not like they're <clears throat> gonna put Bobcat Goldwaite on on there for <laughs> for Batman. Hey, Batman, everybody. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. No, Bob can't go These are great ideas. <laughs> or or, or Ray Ramon. Ramon. Oh yeah, I'm Batman. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> but but it's it's Batman. It's Batman. Do you care yeah, what ba- yeah. Batman sounds like? Yes. 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 <laughs> Easy. So you have to yes. have a voice. Christian Christian Bale? Anyways, anyways, uh, Riz, I think you have uh, more knowledge on this next story. Um, remember when we remember when uh, EA sucked? Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, today. Right, well, <laughs> well, um, EA is in the news again for something and, awesome, right? Mm, uh, no. E- EA, the guy who created the original, I guess, original uh, 8-bit version of Madden, mm-hmm. is now suing EA because they're using his product and using their his likeness for the video game for their video game without giving them money. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah, it looks like EA is about to go to trial court for this stuff. And he, they might, they might pay, they might get, this guy might Wait, get wait, wait, what is he actually, what do you mean this is likeness and stuff? What, what are they using that no, he's suing them for? They're, they're, he's, u- they're using his, uh, let's see, where is it? Derivative works. Claims yes. that later Madden games all count as derivative from his game. Now, he actually did the... Uh, version for 8-bit computers. Yes. So is this the original version? That's what I'm seeing. From 1986 I mean, uh, was the original deal. Mm-hmm. So uh, that's interesting. That's, a, took a little, uh, that's like, It's like he, re- think, he reread his contract. He was like, hmm. You know, to show it to the lawyer, he got a lawyer that says, you know, but, this could mean this thing and get you a lot more money. But it's weird because it's, it's like it's saying, okay, uh, I you you guys owe me money from twenty six years ago. From twenty, well, the from the last twenty six years. Yeah, yeah from, that's yeah. a lot of money. <laughs> so that that is a lot of money. If you if you if you want to say what EA has done with Madden, mm-hmm. even though we say it's a bad game, mm-hmm. they still sell millions. Mm-hmm. Regardless, like regardless, millions yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a franchise. It, it, it it's worth. So much. Um, my guess is I don't think Electronic Arts was a very big company those days, and maybe they just had a really shoddy contract writer. Yeah. You know. You oh, know. and uh, EA laid off. People. <coughs> yeah, well, that's yeah. that was coming, I think. So. Excellent. Yeah, EA is the uh, Brett Favre of the lawsuits. The golden <laughs> strikes again. 
So, all right. Our next story: um, Nintendo is not going to hold a press conference at E3 this year. What? Yeah, we don't have they, anything good. To sh- no, no. They must have been listening to our show last week. <laughs> no, we shamed them out of it. Yeah, we did. Um, I but- I don't know what they're gonna do. Um, are they just going to show their games well, off? Well, no, no. I'll tell you um, exactly what they're going to do. Go ahead, Riz. Did, did you remember last year? <laughs> it's so bad. Yeah. The, the, the pre-show, the pre-show uh, that they did where they had Konami. Think about it, Morimoto. Mm-hmm. There's a big Nintendo... Castle, Mario, uh, the Princess Castle, whatever. Mm -hmm. And on top of the roof, virtual Morimoto. And wearing his virtual boy glasses, uh, (laughs) goggles, uh, playing Wii tennis. All right. Yes. Yes. They've already been doing this a little bit, actually, with their Nintendo Direct announcements. Mm -hmm. Um,. Oh, but, they, they're not the only ones, though. 2K pulled out two. Um, wow. I don't remember if this was part of the conversation last week, but you're We're, finding all these companies. They're not the only ones. It's the same thing of everybody pulling out of CES. CES. Did I talk about yeah. this last week? Uh, everybody everybody pulled out of CES. Microsoft pulled out of CES because everybody wants to be Apple right now. Everybody wants to do yeah. their own show right now. Uh, Microsoft and Sony, they want to own the news cycle. Uh, and by having your own event in the middle of May when nothing else is happening, as opposed to competing with E3 and everything going on there. That is true, yeah. Then you get to own the news cycle for, what, a week? Hopefully, if you did it right and actually made some noise that we care about? Good it's luck, Microsoft Nintendo. Microsoft and Sony, they're going to make mm. noise. Yeah. yeah. I, I, well, I, are you making the right kind of noise and does it last? You know, are we still really talking about PlayStation 4 announcement? Any, any noise is noise. That's true. That's true. Yeah. But the, you know, well, go ahead. I, I remember when Nintendo actually won, quote unquote, won E3. Um, when they announced the Wii, I, I thought they, they had an amazing press conference. Yeah. And then, and then last year, I thought they did pretty decent with the Wii U. Yeah. But it's going to be kind of weird not having a big Nintendo press conference without, they didn't you know, with the other two there. They last year. No, no. It, it, was still, it was still kind of looking at it. I, I still looked at, like, what they put out there and said, you did not make me want to buy this in three months Sony or six months. Sucked. Yeah. No, no. The, the th- they're doing wonderful things with the 3DS. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. They're, they're handling the 3DS really well. Mm-hmm. But they've, uh, that's always been their thing. They, they, I mean, while they've they've had problems in the portable for the last uh, what going on fifteen years, yeah. twenty years since, maybe. Since the Game the Boy portable Dance, has always been their bread and butter. They've always yeah. been able to do that. Well, they have owned that market. The problem is the market's changing. Yeah, and, and Sony's trying to compete with the PS Vita, and the Vita's not doing crap. Yeah, yeah. It's just. There's no games for it. There's like the Vita is support. the Game Gear of this generation. Yeah. I'm sorry. Oh. Uh, at least it's not no, the Atari. The game, no, at, at least, least it's not the Atari people, Lynx. At least people yeah. had the Game Gear. <laughs> really? That, really? How many people did you know had had the Game Gear? My friend for had a me. Game I knew one person. My I, I knew my cousins that I think their parents bought them everything. Had the game. Now gear. you know two sword. Now I know two. <laughs> I mean, I have one, but that was later at deep, deep discounts. You know. Yeah. So. Wow. Game Gear is awesome. You guys don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> All right. Our final story for the news this week: uh, GTA Five. There was a new trailer unleashed today with three different protagonists, which Ooh, we already knew about. Okay. Um. It and. The one tra- they had it set up really neat how you could access this trailer. Um, they had a picture of each th- of the three different protagonists. You click on the first one, it plays the first trailer, um, Michael, um, and it just goes through with, like his family struggles, stuff like that, how he wants to get back into the mobster game. Um, and then uh, they moved on to the next character, um, and it showed his like gang life and stuff like that. That was really cool. Um, Why do I have a then, feeling Ray Liotta is going to be in this one? I hope I, so. I've already I showed so. <laughs> Today, I hope he is. Yeah. And, and then, so, and then the, the third and final character was kind of like the redneck guy. 
it, which he he seems like he's going to be fun. They're all three seem like they're going to be really neat characters to play mm-hmm. as, mm-hmm. and you'll get to play as all three. So uh, yeah, I got to catch up on my GTA. Man, yeah, GTA was, was, I, I love GTA. It, it was always good. In, in typical GTA fashion, mocking people. Apparently, uh, jugglers will be in. Yeah, I yeah, can't wait really to see what they do with that. As a <sighs> self-professed juggler myself, I cannot wait to see. I was I was so excited when I saw that. Once they had the still of that, uh, uh, it, it, it's going to be mocking because that's what GTA does. I know, I know, and then I love watching the juggler responses to that because uh, then they're equally as ridiculous. Um, yeah. So yeah, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, um, but that brings us to our boss battle this week. Uh, what would you guys like to see in a GTA in GTA Five? It really looks like it's more. I want to say more the same. Like GTA Four was like the upgraded version of Three. It seems yeah. like like they had a lot of cool new stuff in there. Um, and from what I'm, I, the, the little bit we saw the trailers the first I saw of it, I don't know what more you could want. It's one of those like GTA is going to deliver either just better of the experience that I loved in the past, or give me something I didn't know I wanted in a GTA game. Mm-hmm. Dogs. Dogs. Dogs are going to be in the game. There's, there you go. are going to be dogs in the game. Yeah, and um, I would like. This is this isn't going to happen though, but. I would like see play- see even the dogs want dogs. <laughs> I would like the actual radio playlist before the game. Oh, okay, yeah, because, yeah that's one of the big things from GTA is the yeah, the, the radio station. The, the, the radio station. Uh, I believe the guy's name is Laszlo. That's in the game. Yes, mm-hmm. I want him back in the game. And also, um, two words: love fist. Love uh, Fist. I don't. I, well, maybe, maybe they will. They 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 could put Love Fist in. Um, they, they could be like a Rolling Love Stones in. type of band now, where they just never stop touring. Yes. <laughs> so yeah, because that was no, that was Love and Fist I, was in GTA Three, right? Uh, four. Were they no, in, it was three. Were they in four? It was three. Yeah. I thought it was three. Yeah. So yeah, they could because that was set in the nineties. Mm-hmm. And um, or the, no, that was set in modern times back when it came out. So, and also, if if it's possible, I want because Rockstar did make two games that are polar opposites of each other. Okay, I want more of a feel of playing Red Dead Redemption than I do playing L.A. Noir. Yeah, but it's going it, to be like that. But keep it more GTA centered. It's going to be GTA, yeah. It's, oh it's, yeah, it's still going to be GTA, but I don't want I don't want to sit around making get finding clues and all that stuff because that's that was stupid. a different studio that yeah, did that's that. Yeah, that's a different story and I hope they all like got, got fired after that game. Aww. But GTA, I'm probably going to pre-order that and I'm probably going to play it and I'm probably going to like it. Mhm. And I'm I think that got a uh, release date with, along with the trailer too. I think it's coming out in September, mm-hmm. sometime in September. So awesome. we'll have that to, to keep us busy, and we'll have watch the Watchdogs, and we'll have ghosts, and we'll <laughs> Assassin's Creed Four, Assassin's Creed Four. Yeah, Black it's gonna Pirates be a busy fall. Flag. So, and and um, I think in July. I think uh, uh, the Last of Us comes out too. So yep. or June or July. You know, for everybody who has a PlayStation 3. Yeah. If you can update it, Bobby, you can play it. <laughs> if you can update a wrench, ball, you can throw a wrench. Wait, what? <laughs> That's going to be an achievement, Bobby. Once uh, the, it updates. The, you, you downloaded an update. Yay, that's a trophy. <laughs> All right. Well, I think that's going to do it for, uh, for us this uh, week. Did Chachi say what he wants? Oh, Chachi, did you Chachi? have any thoughts on GTA? No. And right. like Mike said, they're going to give you stuff you didn't know you want, and that's all yeah. I look forward to. Yes. Yeah, I'm just uh, happy that it exists. Yeah. yeah there, uh, there, there's going to be GTA things. GTA comes out, I'm going to play it. Um, so let them surprise me. Yeah. So, all right, that's going to do it for us this week. Wait, uh, wait, what's our challenge? Oh, 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 I'm sorry, thanks. Our you challenge is for next week is WrestleMania for the NES, which we are going to talk about in depth in one of our new segments. The retro if, you, game uh, week. if you don't have an NES and can't get your na- your hands on WrestleMania for NES, um, you can play it at virtualnes.com. Yeah. Really? I'm pretty sure it's one of the choices. They have pretty much every game on there. Yeah, so, I'm sure it is. 
Yeah, you, you can, can uh, feed Andre the Giant giant hams. Nice. Yeah, so if you if you don't have a working Nintendo or don't can't get your hands on the game, um, don't worry about spending money for it. You can you can get it on uh, virtualnes.com. And it's uh, WrestleMania uh, with Hogan ripping the shirt. I don't think yeah, you know, that's upstairs in the in the office. Um, not the uh, challenge. Not steel cage challenge. Just regular WrestleMania. WrestleMania. Regular old school WrestleMania. WrestleMania. If you if you don't have the honky tonk man, you've gone too far. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, that'll do it for us this week. Uh, you can follow us on on Twitter on at Insert Coin TV, and you can go to our, to our website um, Insert Coin to Big End dot com uh, for Sorg Chachi hey, Riz. Wait wait wait, wait 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 Chachi. Yes, sir. You have a new thing, don't you? Oh, what do you mean a new thing? Well, you mean we, I posted the uh, your YouTube account? I think you just plugged. Oh yeah, I do have a u- new YouTube account. It's uh, youtube.com uh, slash Chachi says blops. Um, it's all of my edited game footage. Oh, it's it's just when he says blops. It's blops. just a loop. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right, uh, is that game over, guys? Game over. Okay.